Welcome back. So these in-memory lists are starting to use the value, uh, lose their value, uh, where before they actually made some value, now they're starting to be more of a nuisance. So we're going to remove them very soon. I need to get into the NT framework instead of using uh, basic old lists. But before we do it, I just want to show you guys a small example on how we can actually now start using our controller to create the relation between a customer and an order. And I'm going to do it where I say that when you create an order, how do you make the relation to the customer? And let me just try and show you the drawing again. You have to remember that when you create an order, you need, you need to have a relation to a customer, right? So there's no, you cannot say the foreign key right here can be blank. No, when you create an order, there needs to be a customer else the order can't exist. So that's why we're going to make it inside the orders controller and say when we create an order, I'm going to at the same time make a relation to a specific customer. So let's just, for the fun of it, just do it simple for now and just say when an order is popping up right here, what we'll do is we'll use the order service to create an order. Very, very simple stuff. And then I can also see if I scroll up, I've not made a way for me to kind of get all orders. So I'm just going to add that as well. Using the order service, I'm just going to get all orders right here. There we go. So that's just two very simple functions. And let's just try and run this to show you how simple it actually is for us to add orders now in our system. There we go, it's running and let's just try and jump into Postman. Now step one, I'm just going to grab all orders just to make this simple right here and just to grab some code. So here we have uh, the orders available. Let's just have a look at a single order right here. I'll just grab all the information for the order. There we go, just to use it for the post. Now you'll see the order in a second. There we go, I'll go and make a post request and I'll just jump into the top and say body right here. Remember it's raw and then application JSON to start writing JSON. I'll paste in the entire order. Notice all this information. You need to kind of skip some of it, right? So first of all, I don't need an ID for the, for the order, right? It's going to generate a new ID for me, I hope. I don't need a customer for the order. I only need the actual owner of the order. That's the single customer. So it can either, in my case, be customer one or customer two, because that's the only customers I have. Right now, I'm not doing any validation. We'll do that next lesson. But right now, I'm just going to try and create an order where it has a relation to customer one. I'll do a send, that's all I had to do. A new customer was crea uh, order was created with the information about the delivery date and the actual customer information right here. That pretty much means that when I go and get all customers now, you'll see that customer, um, customer one is going to have, there we go, I'm going to get customer one. He's actually going to have not only one, two, but actually three orders now. So let's just do that again, it's that simple. So when I post an order right here, in the body, I'm going to explain. Let's just try and put one on customer two. He doesn't have any orders yet. Kind of feel sorry for him there. So let's just try and add an order here for customer two. There we go. I'll do a post. And that's, of course, for the orders API. Orders. There we go. Let's try and post this. An order was created, right, for customer two. So when I go and get all customers now, actually, when I go and get customer with ID of two right here, you'll actually see that now he actually has an order as well. Yay! customer two bought something. That's how similar it is. So notice when I post stuff now, it's very, very simple to add my order customer relations. Pretty much just by saying when you post this guy, just send the information about the customer that you want a relation to. That's it for this lesson. Next lesson is the final lesson before NC Framework. I'm going to show you guys how you can validate this because it's very important that we need a customer to actually create an order. So we're going to talk about validation in a better way than what we've done so far. See you next time.